Anglerfish are super unusual fish. They've got this funny thing sticking out of their heads. So what's the deal with anglerfish? Today, we're digging into anglerfish anatomy. I was at the fish market the other day and spotted something really interesting. Yep, you guessed it, an anglerfish. I couldn't resist, so I picked one up for us to check out. Just look at the size of it. Pretty impressive, huh? Anglerfish hang out way down deep in the ocean, usually deeper than 50 meters. And when you see them, they've got a pretty unique look. Their heads are massive, like more than half their body size. Anglerfish have this really big mouth with an underbite. Peek inside and you'll find rows and rows of sharp teeth. This big mouth helps the anglerfish eat prey as big as itself, making it quite the greedy eater. But it's not just their size that makes them interesting, it's how they hunt. Look above their mouth and you'll see some spiky parts. What's wild is that anglerfish fish for their dinner. They wiggle the spike back and forth to lure in their prey, just like fishing. And get this. If you take a closer look at that spiky bit, there's even a part that mimics a bait at the end. Interesting, isn't it? Ever seen a deep sea fish with a glowing head, like in pictures? This flashy feature is common among fish in the same group as anglerfish. As it turns out, the glow doesn't come from the fish itself. It's actually thanks to glow-in-the-dark bacteria living in the bait part in a cool partnership. That spiky thing is a transformed part of the dorsal fin. And it's not just one. The anglerfish has a few of these spikes on its back. Count them and you'll find six. Looking at the anglerfish's other fins, you'll see another dorsal fin here and the tail fin is all the way at the back. Anglerfish have a pretty unique way of getting around. Sure, they can swim with their tail fins like other fish, but they have another trick up their sleeve. They use their pectoral and ventral fins to crawl along the ocean floor. The flat parts on the sides? Those are the pectoral fins. Flip the anglerfish over, and you'll see the hand-like ventral fins on its belly. Kind of adorable, right? Now, at the bottom of the anglerfish's belly is what we'll call the butt fin, and right in front of that is the anus, right here. The anglerfish's belly is pale, but its back is much darker. This isn't just a fashion statement. The dark top is all about blending in, tricking prey into thinking it's just part of the ocean floor. But there's something even weirder about anglerfish. They have these odd tentacles all around their head and body. These tentacles dangle around their head and body, resembling fringes. Known as fringes, these tentacles help anglerfish blend in with seaweed as they lurk on the ocean floor, waiting for prey. Anglerfish also have their gills right next to their pectoral fins, tucked away inside their gill holes. I'll give you a closer look at the gills when we dissect an anglerfish in just a bit. Ready for the dissection? It might get a bit yucky, so brace yourself. When checking out the insides of a fish, start by cutting upwards from the rear end. Carefully slice it open, and you'll get a peek at what's going on inside an anglerfish, like you see here. First up, we've got the anglerfish's stomach. Sometimes you might find some parasites in there called anisakis. Don't worry though, because anisakis doesn't like heat. So if you cook the fish well, it's perfectly safe to eat. Next, take a look at this big organ. It's the anglerfish's liver. And let me tell you, it's pretty hefty when you cut it open. Anglerfish liver is sometimes called the foie gras of the sea. So in supermarkets, they often remove it to make it easier to see. Once the liver is out of the way, you'll spot the anglerfish's digestive system. This part here connects to the mouth. It's the esophagus. And right beside it is the stomach. 
The rest of the digestive system is wrapped up in a membrane. Carefully peel it away, and you'll see the anglerfish's digestive tract, leading all the way to the anus, like you see here. Take out the digestive tract, and you'll see it runs through the stomach, then through this finger-shaped organ called the pyloric duct, through the intestines, and out to the anus. See this space between the digestive tracts? That's the spleen. And this here is the gallbladder. Sometimes, when you open up an anglerfish's stomach, you might find other fish inside. But sadly, this anglerfish's stomach was empty. Now, let's get back to the anatomy. Once we remove the digestive tract, you'll spot the anglerfish gonopodium linked to the anal side. Here's the anglerfish ovary, marked with these distinct bands. If we carefully cut the gonad like this, and peel off the membrane at the top, we can also see the anglerfish heart inside. And remember what I mentioned earlier? If you cut open this hole near the gills, you'll see the gills themselves. As I was wrapping up the anglerfish dissection, I stumbled upon something I've never seen in a fish before. Inside here is an anglerfish kidney, but there's something peculiar next to it. After peeling it off and cutting it open, I found a bunch of tiny grain-like structures. This was completely new to me, so I did some digging through National Fisheries Research Institute's and overseas papers. To my surprise, it turned out to be tumor tissue called xenoma, formed by an infection with a parasite called microsporidia. Microsporidia infect the spinal nerve tissue of anglerfish, so the xenoma is often found around the spine. Thankfully, there haven't been any reported side effects from consuming the microsporidian worm. Lastly, if you cut into the tail part of the anglerfish, you'll see it's quite meaty around the backbone, which makes it a tasty treat. But I didn't offer it to Sebastian because some folks might worry about parasites. And that's all for our anglerfish dissection. If you found this fascinating, remember to subscribe to our channel. That's all for today's Fishy Science, where we uncover the mysteries of the sea.